Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a minute since I've been on my channel, like three weeks, I think. Two or three weeks. It's honestly just because I've made so many videos, but every time I make a video, I just haven't liked how it turned out, so I haven't... Matthew. So I haven't uploaded it, and um, that's why. So I know that my last contour video did very, very well, and you guys all seemed to like that video, so I'm going to continue the little contour series, and I'm going to show you guys how to contour your nose. Please remember that everyone's noses are different shapes and different sizes, so obviously what I do to my nose, you might not want to do to your nose because everyone has different noses. Actually, can I use you for an example? Here. So for example, my nose is pretty like fine for contouring, but Matt's nose, um, it's really crooked. So if we were to contour his nose, you wouldn't do the same steps that I would do for his nose because he broke his nose oh, like 15 years ago. How many times? Just once. One time? I thought it was six. Oh, that's Rachel. That's Rachel. Well, he broke his nose, so his bone is over here and then it has like a thing right there. So you would do different steps to contour his nose than you would to contour my nose. Um, really what I want you guys to take away from this video is the technique. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you guys want to figure out how to contour your nose then keep on watching. So I started off not using any concealer because I actually use my concealer to help contour my nose. And on days where I'm tan and have like a spray tan or fake tan or I just use a darker foundation, um, a lot of times I'll just use my concealer to contour my nose and I'll show you what I mean by that. But what I use to contour my nose and for concealer, my concealer switches a lot, but when I'm like in a rush and I just want to contour and highlight and conceal real quick, what is this hair doing? I'll just go into these two because they work really great and they're super affordable. So these are the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers. I have Natural and Fawn. I know a lot of people use Toast. I ordered this online so I couldn't really tell the color. Um, in all honesty, this is a little bit too orange for my likings, but I make it work. Personally, I like the bridge of my nose. I think it looks fine. I do slim it down a little bit, but I think it's fine. It's really like right here that I don't like, and my nose is kind of wide, so I like to shrink it down in size this way, and I like to like cut some of this off this way. Um, it's like, it's slopey as it is, so I don't really need to like highlight it to look slopey or anything, but... Um, that's what I like when I contour my nose. So just because I do that doesn't mean it's going to work with your nose. It's really just the technique. My extensions are playing me right now. So the first thing that I like to do is take my concealer, squeeze a good amount out, and I put this under my eyes. Okay, so then once I have the concealer that I like underneath my eyes, I'll normally just go in with whatever excess is on the brush tip because if you guys can tell this concealer it's like it's a little brush so it's really convenient and I like to go down the center of my nose just like a straight line I like to get a little bit up onto my head of four forehead <laughs> and onto my chin then normally if you guys can see I always have a lot of like excess underneath my eyes because that's just what I do I'm a little cakey bitch so I just sort of scoop, I'm not squeezing it out, I just sort of scoop it up and put it along the sides of my nose. And then make a line down. And then fill it out. Like that. So when I'm tan or I use a darker foundation, um, that will create two little lines for me down the sides of my nose and then I don't actually have to go in with a darker color at all that will contour it enough for me and that's a very natural way of contouring your nose. I think I forgot to say this too. My favorite way of contouring is with um, cream. I think powder can sometimes look a little bit too harsh but cream looks really really natural. So then I go in with my beauty blender and I normally get it wet but recently I've been spraying it with the Mario Badescu facial spray and then when it comes up to the nose portion I kind of make it skinny like this. I squeeze it in on the sides and I just dab it. I don't really bring it up onto my nose anymore because I have it placed right where I want it. Then when it comes to the line down my nose, I again just squeeze it and tap it in where it is. I don't try to expand this line. And even if I do, that's why I put the contour shade down after the highlight just so that I can shrink it back up if it needs shrinking. And now I go in with the contour shade and a lot of times there is already like excess product on the brush so I won't go in and squeeze it because I've done it before where I'll like go in and I'll squeeze way too much of this out and um yeah I'm just I'm just screwed so 
It takes pristine concentration. So like I said, I'm gonna slim down my bridge a little bit, not too much because I do like it. So I'm gonna slim it down. Till the meatiest part of my nose. Which is about right here. I also like to bring it up to my eyebrow a little bit. Because I just think it shrinks the whole look of my face. Because I have such a round face. I really like to try and condense it as much as possible. So then once it's like that. Oh, side note, this is the Kylie Lip Kit, and um, it creases on me like a bitch, so I'm not really too sure how I like this. This is Coco K. Color's great. I just can't get it to work on my lips. Any tips, let me know. I put chapstick down, and then I put the liner down, and I put it all over my lips, and then I put the liquid on, and it's just not for me. I like to go in, and I like to make a triangle right here, and I make a triangle. Also, the smaller your lines are of your contour, the thinner your nose is going to look. And then I'm also going to put it right here on the sides of my nostrils because what that's going to do is going to trick the eye into thinking that your nose is smaller and more in as opposed to wider out. Um, I see some people doing this. Honestly, for me, I don't notice a huge difference, but I'm going to do it for the sake of the tutorial. When I want to be an Instagram person, it's so I'll just take little lines right here and drag them out. And what that's going to do, it's going to really create this button nose effect. If you can see that, it really just like caves out this whole meaty little part of my nose. <laughs> then, <laughs> then let's go back in with my dampened beauty blender. I feel like this made my nose look bigger. Imagine you put it in the video. Okay, well for the sake of the tutorial it failed me because I don't like that look. Okay, but then I just go in and all you gotta do is hit it with the tap. And if this beauty blender is too big for you, these little baby beauty blenders are where it really comes in handy. These, I swear, were made for the nose contour. And then just tap, 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 tap. And then you can use the highlight to shave down parts of your nose that you don't like in your contour. Does anyone else have a nose contour inspo? Because mine is Carly Bible. Bible. I always say her last name wrong. So you just have to keep blending until the lines are still noticeable and still there. Like to the point where it makes your nose look slimmer, but not to the point where you have like two stripes down your nose. If that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and set my face. Um, this is just a powder foundation. I'm just going to lightly set my under eyes with it it might look a little wonky right now because I don't have any other face makeup on I always oh I should have told you this I always put my face powder over top of my nose contour just to kind of tone it down a little bit and then if I'm being extra which you guys know I, I sometimes am a lot of times this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder any translucent powder is gonna do and I'll just go right along the sides of my contour and bake it because what that's gonna do is gonna highlight around my contour and lock it in place Being careful not to get it on my contour, but if you do, it is okay. Told you this takes pristine concentration. So then while my nose bakes, I always like to go in and finish off the face. Okay, I see girls on Instagram do this, and honestly, it's not my look. It doesn't look good on me, but I'm going to show it for the purpose of the video. Take a small brush, uh, even your finger would work, and your highlighter, like whatever face highlighter you use. I'm going to hit this right here. So what you do is you just take this over right where in the center of your nose, and then right down the bridge. 
and then make an exclamation point and don't connect the dot with the line because that's going to make your nose look super slopey and for me like i said because i don't completely contour my whole face it's a very harsh defined look to my nose and i don't like that so i'm gonna do it then after all that's done wipe off my powder brush and i just wipe away the bake Uh, there really isn't anything else that I do. Sometimes if I feel that I lost my contour a little bit, um, I'll go in and contour it with my Hoola bronzer. This is a Sigma E45. It's just a tapered blending brush. And I'll just lightly run down the sides of my contour. Just to define it ever so slightly. And then I will take my powder brush and I'll just kind of flick it over and blend it out. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I do to contour my nose. So that is all. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. So as I said in the beginning of the video, I've been a little uninspired with my channel. So please let me know what videos you guys, what videos you guys want to see from me in the comments down below. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.